I just as I listened to the other talk, I also was reminded of what Robert said that this really is a leadership um, effort and a leadership prospect. And what came to my mind is uh, maybe something that is not, it looks small, but it, I think it was quite impactful in our in the association. I think. Um, when we, or when the presidium and the board set out to um, compound the strategy on diversity and equality, um, I think the natural impulse was to have all of the women who have been active and myself um, in this group to work on the strategy. Um, I think this was not really questioned until it was questioned by people who were then forming this group. And then we set out to really specifically get um, the men in leadership positions in the association in. So what this looked like is we approached uh, people on the board, also the, the president at the time, who was also a man, uh, to join the group and we really gave them no other option. Um, so when uh, when we approached women who, were, who said that they didn't have time or no capacity, uh, we didn't put up a fight, but uh, when the men tried to get out of this, we really uh, made sure that they understood that this is something that we need them for. And then this was a process that spanned over a year from drafting, uh, then making this available to the whole association for comments, then doing the redrafting presentation to the board and the position, and finally was adopted. And I could really see in this work, uh, in this gender mixed group, but especially in the men who were from all kinds of different backgrounds, security, software engineering, none of them had specifically, I think, worked on topics around diversity uh, gender before. Um, is that they really contributed ideas and they really worked on the final outcome and they took ownership in a way that was really visible. So for example, um, when the, the drafts and the, were read into the presidium and the board, um, it was actually then the man who stood up and also engaged in the arguments why this and that is important or why, uh, for example, language should be in there because German is a heavily gendered language. So you know, and it was really good to see them engage in the discussion and also offer some counter arguments to those who were more critical or wanted to um, not go forward with this less aggressive in a way. 